All right, you guys, it's going to be a sick video. It's actually going to be a two-part series video because there's no way I'm going to be able to unbox all these and assemble the aircraft carrier in one video. Yes, you heard me correctly. There is a full 1-200 scale aircraft carrier deck that comes when you buy the complete set. If you can't buy the complete set, you can buy them individually. And what's really cool is Forces of Valor pack them with their own squadrons and part of the aircraft carrier deck in each package. So if you can't buy the whole set, at least you get part of the deck and your favorite squadron. You've got the top hatters, black aces, Jolly Rogers, your favorite squadrons are pretty much all here. So stay tuned guys, it's gonna be a good video. Okay, so we're gonna start off with A. They actually go in alphabetical order showing you where they go on the carrier deck. But this is the VF-41 Black Aces. They do a really good job in the packaging showing off the tail art there. You can see it before you purchase it. Then also has a good job with the squadron art. As well on the back, you can see where this one specifically goes on the carrier deck. So if you wanted to complete the full carrier deck or if you just wanted maybe the first half section or whatnot, you know which ones to buy. And right here you can see this is what's included with this specific set. These are the deck parts, this is the aircraft, and then also this is what the full deck looks like once it's fully assembled if you were to buy the complete set. And then this is what this specific one looks like here. We're going to start with the aircraft first. Comes in a good package. And I really do like the paint job they did. Look at that tail art. Looks pretty good, especially for a 1-200 scale. Here's what the bottom looks like. You can see the Forces of Valor logo there. And what's really cool is these wing sweeps do actually open. Really good job. I'm actually really impressed with this paint for 1-200 scale. And this moves really good. It is die cast, so that's metal. And then there isn't a pilot that comes in there, but that would be really hard to do anyways for 1-200 scale. Also comes with these instructions showing you what all the decks look like and it is ABS die cast metal on the back shows you how to assemble each set and then what it looks like fully assembled again with the different squadrons you can buy and here's the carrier deck and this deck is of course plastic there's two sides to this, and all you do is line it up like this, and then you just pop it in. So here it is, fully assembled. Of course, you can do the wing sweeps back or forward. If they were to be taking off, of course, the wing sweeps would be forward. But overall, I like it. Looks pretty good. And it does roll really well, so be careful of that. Next up, we have the VF-1 Wolfpack, and I'll just show you real quick what it looks like. Then again, shows you where it goes on the deck. We'll start with the actual aircraft itself again. Okay, here's what this one looks like up close. And you open the wing sweeps, the 100 shows as well. Okay, so for the carrier deck, most of these are going to be a two-piece assembly, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll see what this one looks like here. Yep, there's two pieces. And then you just put them together just like you did the other one. It has a slot on either side. You just pop it in. And then this one, since it's B, it goes behind A. That's what these two slots are for. So again, if you want to buy these and display them individually, it'll still look really good, as you can tell here. The only difference is if you buy one in the middle, you'll just have these extra pieces here and potentially more in the back. But I like it. Next up, we have the VF2 Bounty Hunters. All right, start with the aircraft again. And I don't know if y'all can tell, 
but each one of the aircraft's colors is actually different. They may all look, some of them may look all light gray, but they're a different shade of gray. So this is number 203. Again, you open the wing sweeps, and then there's the 203. I love how they did that. The attention to detail on this is great. There's the bottom. And this one comes with a blast deflector, so we may have more pieces in this one. Then that's going to line up like this. Pretty good fit. And then, yep, here's the blast deflectors. Looks like this should be pretty easy to install. Who reads instructions, right? So it looks like I'm just going to pop it in. Oh, I see. They give you two options. So you can install it with a blast deflector up or down. So if you want it up, you're just going to pop it in like that. But if you want it down, just pop that out, a little wiggling. It's a pretty good fit. And then you would just lay this down like that. I like it. Next up, we have the VF-32, the Swordsman. And this one also comes with a blast deflector. Here's a close-up look. I like the color of this gray a lot. 102, there's the tail art, USS Enterprise. Again, open up the wing sweeps, 102. All right, and this one just lines up like this. Again, you have the option to install the blast deflector or not. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in for this one. Next, we have the VF-114 Aardvarks. All right, let me know in the comments below which aircraft you like the most and which one you guys want to purchase. I'm just curious to see because all these are very unique as far as their paint team goes as well. There's the wing sweep. And this video is not sponsored by Forces of Valor, but they did send me these to review for you guys. So just want to say thank you to Forces of Valor as well. I really like what they have coming out in the future. Not just this line, but they have a lot of really cool stuff coming out too. So make sure you stay tuned to my channel. I'll be sure to try to review all of them. Okay, so this one just connects like this. Put it like this. There we go. This one is the VF-14 Top Hatters. You can tell it's more of a blue instead of a gray. I also really like this paint as well. All right, just another two-piece set. Again, lines up pretty good. 
You can actually line this up like it's taken off. So this is one of the more unique F14s in the set. This is the VX4 Evaluators. It's all black and it looks really good from the outside. I really appreciate that Forces of Valor actually spent the time to look up and research different squadrons and also try to match the paint because I think that says a lot. They could have just done the same F14 paint scheme, even squadron for the carrier deck, but I appreciate that they took the time to do this. That way everybody can pick the squadron they like or all of them like me. Two-piece set. There we go. All right, two in a row. Here's another really unique one. This is the F-14A Persian Cat, and they did a really good job trying to match this paint as well. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Wing sweeps. This one also has a blast deflector. And this one's gonna be in between both of these. So they actually line the hole up to the side instead of in the middle. That's gonna be a four piece deflector set, one for each side with two different versions. Okay, so this one piece fits across both sides if you wanna show it up. Same with the back section. Like that. You can also do both down. We're gonna display it like it's about to take off. Lined up, ready to shoot. So here's probably one of the most well-known squadrons, the VF-84 Jolly Rogers. Really like how they did the squadron art as well. Let's see how accurate they got the paint. Right on. Again, pretty good. Two-piece set, line it up like this, we're going to set him right here, and then you can see here, you actually have the cables to catch. Alright, we're getting pretty close. This one is the VF-111 Sundowners, it's got the Miss Molly nose art here, you can kind of see it there. Another unique paint job. I like that this one has a Miss Molly nose art too and the shark mouth. Another two piece set.
There we go. All right, next up we have the VF-142 Ghost Riders. Another good looking aircraft. So this is a smaller deck. If you're looking into getting like one of the other pieces, I definitely would recommend it because this one by itself isn't as nice as the other parts, but you can see this is the back of the deck here. Still looks really good, but I think it'd be good to have the other piece. At least this one right here, L, which I'm gonna show you next. All right, here's the last one. We have the VF-31 Tomcatters. I always thought this was a funny one. If anybody knows what the meaning of that is, shoot me a message in the comments because I was always curious. I've seen it a lot, but didn't understand what it was. I think it's from an old cartoon. Yeah, so like I was saying, this is another small part of the deck because the last two go together. And you can actually see the way this one goes. Let's see, I think it goes like this, yeah. It's the very back of the carrier too. So you'd want to put the last two together. Again, stay tuned to my next video because this is definitely a two-part series. And I'll assemble these and put them all together. So you'll be able to see what all of them look like next to each other if you want to buy the whole set. I like it. All right, so we're about to move on to the Admiral's Bridge, which is this one right here, but I wanted to show you real quick. You know if you watch my videos how much I love Forces of Valor packaging, which I've shown you in this is already amazing, but look at this. If you get the packages, you set them up, you wanna put the aircraft carrier together, look what you can do with the boxes. And also, not only that, but on the back, you could display the carrier deck as well. All right, so moving on to the Admiral's Bridge. This one's a little different. This takes some assembly. You can see here, it actually comes with pre-painted parts but it doesn't come fully assembled. So you do have to take the time to put some pieces together. A lot of y'all are model builders that watch my channel, so this is probably nothing to y'all, <laughs> but I don't do that very often. Um, I like it and I appreciate it. I respect y'all for doing it. Um, I just usually don't have as much patience. Um, something I'm going to learn though, because I do like the process and I love these models. But you can see here some instructions. And then also, I'll just show you the pieces. And then once I assemble it, I'll kind of show you what it looks like at the end because it's going to be a lot of little pieces here, which I appreciate. Let's show you the bridge. So this piece, as you can tell, already comes painted. USS Enterprise, CVN 65. I'll show you more details of that later. Yep, so here are the parts. I don't think there's anything else in that box, but I will get this put together and get back.
All right, so here's the Admiral's Bridge fully assembled. It's the first time I've done one of those videos assembling something, so I hope you guys liked it. But it looks pretty good. I like all the graphics it has. Beware of jet blasts and props. And uh, right here, USS Enterprise CVN65. And in order to actually install this, you need to purchase a specific deck, and I want to show you guys that. So you need to purchase the VX4 Evaluators, which is also G, because if you turn it over here, you'll see where it says G. You need the Admiral's Bridge with G to go with that. And these two little tabs right here on the front, you'll actually take from the bottom right there and there, those tabs, and it will go on like that. And I'll show you in the assembly video in the next video, so I hope you all stay tuned because I'm gonna assemble the whole thing and I'll show you how it looks. So thanks for watching.